<laughs> Chris. <laughs> A-Hole Productions. Hello everyone, welcome to another Seek and Destroy stream, and today we are playing Alien Isolation. This was a game that was donated to us by one of the people in my chats, one of my new friends, the Van Jones. Link to Van Jones' Twitch page is down in the link below if you're watching this on YouTube later. And if you're watching, you know, also I'll put it right here on the screen as well, like you'll see it over to my left here, I guess. Um, but this game, I've been really intrigued by this. I played a like a few minutes of this two years ago at San Diego Comic-Con. They had a giant like face hugger egg on the show floor and you crawled into it and you had to survive for like five minutes to get a t-shirt, 10 minutes to get something else. And I only survived three minutes. <laughs> the, the alien pretty much got me almost immediately and it freaked me out. So that's my only exposure to this game. I've never really watched anyone play it, stream it at all. I don't know anything about the story, anything. And Van Jones really enjoyed one of our streams one night and said, hey, I'd love to give to your channel. I'd love to donate a game. Have you ever played Alien Isolation? I'll give you the 13 bucks that I found it on Amazon for if you can buy it on Amazon. So I accepted. That was very generous. And I thought, let's do it. Let's get into it. So I think there's a little preview movie here. We're going to watch this, give people time to get into the chat. And then we will get started with Isolation. You can hear me, but I made it across. It's really bad here, Verlaine. I think... I think there's something here. I'm not ready for this game. <laughs> Jeez. Holy crap, what an intro. <laughs> that is awesome. Oof. Let's get it on. <laughs> yeah, sorry, you were texting me, and I was like, oh my god, Joe, I'm about to start this stream. <laughs> uh, but we'll definitely, let's talk tomorrow morning about that. Oh, I see, the thing is, I don't think the capture card, I can't install it into my Final computer. Report of the commercial starship All right, here we go. Story. Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew, Kane, Lambert, Parker. Is this Sigourney Weaver? Brett, Ash, <coughs> and Captain Dallas are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. Oh, shut up. Dan Abnett wrote this? Last survivor of the Nostromo. Dan Abnett was one of the writers Signing on this. Off. Are you kidding me? Dude, that was a that was a message from Ripley. But now the coolest thing was in Alien 1, she's talking about her crew, Kane and Ash and all them. After the end of Alien 1, she wakes up from... She puts herself in cryostasis, kind of like Master Chief in Halo. They find her, but not till like 60, 60 years later. So, that's crazy. I'm Samuels. I work for the company. It's about your mother. We think we oh, may nice, have found Joe. her, Amanda. Oh, snap. Commercial vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol. If you found out your mom was alive, 
I feel like you would get a bigger reaction than that. As soon as possible. Sorry, I'm nitpicky on depot. emotional stuff. So, Sorry. Permanent. When I write, I, I think about em emotion, so... That's because I have a lot of actor friends who tell me things like that. Yeah, dude, this is a straight-up sequel. Oh! So excited right now. Hype, hype, hype. Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. Look, Ripley, when this so, job came across my desk, I read when, the case history. At the end of Alien 1, Ripley, she mentioned that she had a little girl who was like eight-ish. So if this girl's fully grown, that means Ripley, obviously we know she wasn't lost for only six weeks. She believed she was going to get picked up in six weeks. Um, but obviously years have passed. And this is a young woman here. If you want to come along. Um... Maybe that's pretty crazy. Closure for you. So this I like. I, this is a this is the kind of motion I'm talking about. She's like you can see her thinking. Like she's sad, but she's like she's determined, and she, I like that. It's a lot of I like that when when characters have that going on. <coughs> I do that too. Oh, nice, Arfis. Yeah, it's a good it's a good trait to have when you're creating stuff. I think of everything emotionally. If I don't understand emotionally why someone's doing something, I can't get into the story. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, so like I said, Ripley thought she was only going to be gone six weeks. She ends up waking up like 60 years later in Aliens, the sequel, Aliens. Um, all right, walking, sign in. Welcome, A. Ripley. So that's pretty cool that they're going into this. I think they've done this before, kind of. They've, I think there have been extended universe stuff that talked about the daughter of Ripley. I don't think they've ever really done a full story on her, though, like this. Um, huh. So this is pretty cool. Oh, look at that. That's very 20, uh, 20th century. <laughs> Look at the sumo. Nice. Bonding agent. Okay. Whew. All right. Hello. Another person. Hello. Good morning. Ripley, it's certainly not good. Tons of games, dude. So many games. Those spacesuits are dope. I agree. Those suits we passed back there are super dope. I feel like death. I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly. You should feel like life. You just woke up. I don't do long haul. It's the opposite of feeling like death, actually. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Wayland Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. Shout out to Wayland Yutani. You guys are monsters. It's important we find out what happened. If I can close You're the umbrella corporation of the alien universe. I hope that makes you happy. I'm sorry. When does Sigourney Weaver show up? <laughs> she was in the intro. She um mother has been missing for fifteen years. Ellen Ripley did the intro. It's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? Um, Have you seen Samuel? <coughs> He's probably been up for hours. Excuse my cough. I'm still I'm still catching up. So we spoke to Taylor. Sweet. I didn't even see it pop up with an objective. I didn't know we even had objectives. Um, uh, Deadlight. Get ready for amazing cutscenes. I have no one to play with on that game. I love Deadlight. Deadlight's awesome. It's a 2D game. I got the director's cut. So apparently there's some new stuff in it that I've never played before. Siege, what up? Hey, dude, sorry I'm late to the imminent face-hugging that'll happen. I'm playing Pokemon Sun, by the way. Ah, no problem, Siege. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the stream. Samuels. Thank you for being here, bud. Thank you all for being here. You guys are going to see me shit my pants tonight, if you're lucky. Uh, Joe says, where's Vera? It's actually a good game. I heard really good things about this game. Yes, M class. A later pattern. This is the number one game I'm requested to play, and I keep putting it off. Oh, dude. Yeah. Someone someone bought it for us. Uh, Van Jones. I wrote his name back here on my board of donations, and he gave me 13 bucks, which was like 17 pounds, I think. I think he's UK, and he um, thankfully PayPal converts that stuff. And then I bought it, got here in two days. It was awesome. Awesome. I'm happy to play it. I mean, anyone who's likes my content enough to want to buy me a game I'm like I mean first of all I'm like really like I'm just a nerd dude like uh, but I appreciate it um, but when they when, I mean I'll give any if anyone buys me a game I'll give it a shot I don't care 
I'll make I'll try to make time for it. We might not be able to beat this before zombie month starts, but we'll definitely have some fun. Whoa, what is yo? Was I supposed to lay on that first? Mm. Sad panda. No, we'll just leave it. Oh, there we go. Uh, thank you, Moobot, for letting everyone know how it works here. Siege, uh, where are the avatars and blue monkeys? Uh, the one that doesn't. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. And Lego Dimensions, maybe we'll play that another day. Uh, we're going to make it effing. We are going to make it work. We're going to make our dreams come true, doing it always. <clears throat> and not that I'm normally a good singer, but I would be better if I wasn't sick. So I apologize if that hurt your ears. What happened for Left 4 Dead? Um, we were Left 4 Dead. We died instantly. So we decided to play Resident Evil instead. When Joe cringes, I go into Photoshop and get to work like Jopra, my pride and joy. <laughs> are you Gail? Is, are you where's Gail? Gail to his Jopra? That'd be awesome. What do you? What am I playing? Oh, I'm playing a, uh, Alien. Alien Isolation. Um, are you asking me? I thought I. I thought I said I, what I was playing, but I. I, I might have. Uh, you might not have been in here at that moment. What are you doing? Oh, we got a whole crew here. Look at all these red shirts. I'm so happy right now. I never claimed Photoshop was my strong suit. <laughs> do I have a station? Can I like? Is this an airlock? Can I jump out of that? Ooh, can I press that button? No? All right. Oh, wait. Here we go. Cool. Uh, eat the, with the, the briefing with the stuff. Requ required content. Okay. Apparent. Uh, oh, okay. The game's not done installing, by the way. <laughs> so I may not be able to do a few things. But what am I supposed to be doing right now? Let's go to the map. Um, collect your briefing. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm trying. I guess we gotta wait for the rest of the game to install? To collect the briefing file? But it, Barry was like, sorry, Seek, your comment is blocked. Oh, good, we got the file. Look at that. Oh, the word is auto-blocked. Oh, that's amazing. It? Switch to monitors. That's amazing. Barry, that's so amazing. Uh, being a guest on Gamer Chat is a really fun experience. Nice. Yeah, it sounded like you had a great time, Goldheart. It sounded like you had a really good time. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is a commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair. Registration number MS. Not much here. Message deleted. No fake purges allowed. Oh, yeah, Siege, watch yourself. We request immediate permission to transfer the passenger to port side over. Barry says his auto blocked word list is so awesome. I have a pretty extensive word block list as well. And that's not an invitation for you people to try anything, but um, avid is not one of the words. <laughs> Anytime a message isn't clear, just go, just hold up the middle finger to that station and drive the other way. The station's comm seem pretty screwed up, so our fitted Samuel suit <laughs> nah. the radio P booster. PG stuff and PG-13 oh, stuff is fine. keep the Torrens in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. <laughs> go on, hard. But I can't, Safe trip. someone, someone try to type the word bananas in. Try to type bananas. Stand by. My contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option. See if and bananas works. Safe if you don't return. Ah, dang. All right. I th maybe it's just banana. Someone kept saying bananas in one of my streams. Dang. I gotta. I gotta look into that. Thank you guys for trying. Um, someone kept repeating that word in my stream one day. And so I thought it'd be funny if they ever came back. They weren't bothering me. I, I, I thought it was funny, what they, whatever they were doing, because I can't remember now. It was a couple months ago. But I think I, I thought I put the word in there. Um, but I guess I, I, I must have meant to, and I didn't. I really did want to, though. Man, weird. I honestly have only one 
really terrible encounter where I had to ban two dudes on Twitch. I haven't had to make any black words. Melon. No, it's not Melon. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, shit. Oh. Whoa. Is he gone? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Nobody's around. Our whole team taken out by a by a, a, a pipe. And see, that's why you don't answer space phone calls that don't come in clearly. Uh, Joe says, I say that now and tomorrow morning when I randomly decide I want to run RE2 real quick, it'll happen. Yeah, for sure. Yep, it just got real. Hold on to your nuts, Seek. Oh, Jesus. All right, Echo. Hold on to your nuts, dude. <laughs> Echo's my dog, by the way, anyone who's here. Oh, by the way, for Goldheart and Barry, because I don't think you guys were here the other day. Um, so I, if, if you don't know this about me, I, I've written and, and you know made comic books and novels. If you type in command book, exclamation part book, uh, you will get a free gift from me to you for, for Christmas. I'm giving it away to everyone who jumps in my streams between now and New Year's. So if one of you guys want to do that, I know some of the alien timeline, Goldheart says, nice. I, we may have questions for you. Because uh, I'm, I know the movies and some of the comic books, but I'm not very, I'm not like Resident Evil or Halo good with this stuff. Boom. <laughs> I do definitely. Uh, there you go. Where's Barry? Thank you, bud. So there's a free comic book, issue number one, free download. Enjoy it. Oh, you're welcome, Barry. No problem, dude. No problem at all. Thank, thank me if you like it. <laughs> Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, my God. Find help. Yeah, okay. Uh, Goldheart, it's okay. The link's right above you. Just uh, just click the link above you. It's our, uh, Barry already did it. I think there's a cooldown time with uh, with uh, what you call it, uh, uh, Mubot. I was actually reading Resident Evil Heavenly Island uh, manga today. Nice. Did they uh, did they release the did they finally start releasing those in America? Because I read the the last one, the one that takes place in the the college, the something diaries. Um, I read those ones and they're they they were pretty good. Ah, oh, there you go, Arfus. Thank you very much. So let's save. I have a feeling things are about to go bad. Very bad. Got a bad feeling about this, kid. I have a lot of suburb-isms, as Jamali likes to call them. Screw you. Oh my god. Jump scares galore. That's gotta be the exit up ahead. Maintenance jack required. Oh, great. Get through the main door. Uh, WWE now owns the Leprechaun franchise. Oh, well, awesome. Yeah, because when I think Leprechaun, I think the WWE. <laughs> oh, what up? What about both games? <laughs> there you go. Tagline, Evo has a new rap. They could have done way better. <laughs> it could have done way worse. <laughs> they could have done worse. Joe says, wow. <laughs> All right, I'm pretty sure that guy told me something very useful, so one of y'all can uh, tell me later when we're stuck, if you remember. So this one needs a jack too, huh? Maintenance jack required. Where do we find this jack at, yo? Uh, I actually saw the first Leprechaun in theaters. Ah, uh, yeah, I did too, man. I did too. I'm right there with you, bud. L1, you and I, man. Yeah, I'm 34. I, I watched uh, I watched that 
that in the theater as well. <laughs> Lep in the hood. One tagline was evils in the house. Oh my God. I must now find them all. <laughs> one small step for man. One giant leap of terror. <laughs> That's so amazing. Those are just amazing, amazing uh, lines. All right. What's in here? There's, it's just a room. I don't buy that for a second. Or, well, I guess maybe it's, can be described psychological, but it's not cerebral. And you need it to be cerebral. You need it to follow you home. You need to leave the movie thinking you're sa not safe. That's what you need. It was psychologically boring. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Uh, turn right. Oh, he's got an accent. Come on! We're a human. What are you doing? Whoa, no, that's our wrench. Where'd you come from? Ripley. Off station. A ship. There's no ships here. Is that Grant Morrison? Well, huh, that's good news. Looks a little like Grant Morrison. So <laughs> Something blue just now. Rocked this whole place. I saw it. Yeah, what was it? Maybe that's the least of our problems. Yeah. You say tomato. You say t tomato. I say shotgun. <laughs> Something you wouldn't believe. Fair enough. Like what? <laughs> you get it? Okay. All right, dude. That gun is serious. That's like a Barry Burton gun. Okay. I need where's Barry to comment on that gun. What's your name? I thought Malcolm McDowell did a great job uh, playing Loomis. Easily the best part of the Halloween remake was his performance. Was That's true. I mean, he's a great actor. I love Malcolm McDowell. He's fantastic. We got separated by the blast. Better movie director, Rob the Robot from NES or Rob Zombie. See, I don't know because I like you know Devil's Rejects and I like House, House of a Thousand Corpses. Placed on the ship. So it's, and I like his music videos. I, I know I can trust you. Um, I need but I just, I just didn't like his Halloween movies. I and I think he did a new movie recently, but I didn't see it. <laughs> Joe says, wow. <laughs> back. Oh, welcome back, Angel. Seeks and comms is in the Cystex It's quite a distance, but we can get Sorry, to I had to the answer a text real quick. Head to the transit link with Axel. All right, we made a friend. Sorts of trouble there. Okay. Axel, you aimed a gun at me, so I'm going to say this politely. I'm looking forward to when you die, because I'm going to take that gun, and I'm going to defend myself. Come on, I don't want to stick around here long. Um, especially against living things, yeah. In the original Halloween, Michael Myers was raised by witches and the sole purpose of killing his entire family. He died, but he came he became something else that beyond human. The remake just messed up the whole story. Well, the remake just... The thing about that, though, is you didn't know that about Michael Myers in the first movie, which is why the first movie is so good. You didn't know that was his backstory. It wasn't until... A little bit in two, and then I think in search, the, the, the origin of Michael Myers or something like that, number five, the one with Paul Rudd in it, is when you learned all that stuff about the druids and the, and, the, and the people who, like, you know, cursed his family and all this other stuff and how he had to kill them to, you know, ascend or whatever it was. Like, all that was later. So in the first movie, they left it open, which is why he was so scary. What? It's because it was left open. Hey, don't move. Uh, Whoa. Okay. So seek, you just got Resident Evil Zero, and I'll be playing it while watching your stream. Oh, nice, dude! Enjoy. Everybody, go get a is a recent, I believe, recent Resident Evil uh, fan. Jumped in around, I think, five or six, right? Go get a, and is is now going back and playing those games and picked up Resident Evil: The Origin Collection of Zero and One uh, just recently, actually. So uh, big shout out to Go Get a. Uh, Joe says, uh, Goldheart, the original lore is a little screwy, though. That one with Paul Rudd did a lot of things that changed the original lore. See, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. The, the Paul Rudd one kind of streamlined the lore, or, or it, but retconned some things, too. So, yeah, it gets a little dicey in there. Um, Paul Rudd was in one. Was it directed by Judd Apatow? It was not. It was not. It's getting, spa uh, it's getting crowded on this spaceship. It is. It is for sure. But at least Axel's not it, just... You know, he, he didn't go that nuts that time, which is nice. I think he's calming down. He was becoming a good boy. <laughs> okay, Joe, after work, Goldheart says, Sadly, uh, no, laugh my ass off. Where's Barry? But it was a fan script that got picked up. Oh, saving. <laughs> oh. 
Hold up. Let me get the elevator. All right. Allow me. Please oh, thanks, Mubat. What if the twist in this game is that there are no aliens? You may have been Shyamalan. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? Hit the button. I'm working on it. What a jerk. Uh, yeah, Barry, they're going to open a door and walk out into a busy city street. <laughs> Hold LB and move to lean. This way. Get down. Ooh. People. Hey, something's hmm. moving around out there. Trouble. Sounds like the Trouble. Joe and Goldheart Halloween podcast is all but Trouble. scheduled. <laughs> it does. Holy cow. It's Mother Nature against us. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes, I would listen to that podcast where you guys explain for like an hour the the continuity of uh the Halloween series. That would be so dope. Oh well, sorry everybody. No, it's good. Never be sorry in here. You're good. They don't like strangers. Even you're nice good, you're good. Like me. I'm shocked. I ain't pulling your chain, darling. You want to go and say hello? It's your funeral. Those guns aren't for show. Someone should be doing something. They are. It's called surviving. Uh, the terribly flawed continuity. Yeah. Well, those movies, you know. Everyone's turning on each other. They, uh, they didn't care about that stuff at first. They, everyone who made a, a movie of those franchises was just like, all right, let's just... Let's just uh, make this movie, you know, like, and then every time a new person came along, they're like, oh, well, they didn't explain it well enough in the last movie. So let's try to explain it better. And if we retcon something, we retcon something, you know, um, <laughs> they didn't think those movies would make an impact, really, or that they'd be looked back on as like uh, nostalgic, fun horror movies. <laughs> it was just a paycheck to a lot of them. It can get pretty dark around here. How about the Michael Myers podcast where we talk about Halloween and Austin Powers? <laughs> Thank you, Miramax. I also read that as Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, nice. All right, so we saved. Let's turn this off because that's going to give away our position probably because I'm probably going to dance once I hear that weird dubstep that this game plays. Pick up the flashlight. What flashlight? We got the flare. Is he talking about the flare? Is that, what, is that what he means by flashlight? Oh, no, he does. Here we go. It's a headset. Um, I didn't even realize that Split Movie was M. Night. Off the list now. <laughs> Androids are from Alien 3, right? No, Androids were in Alien 1. Let's go. A Androids were in Alien 1. Uh, Kane was the Android Alien 1, and he malfunctioned, which is why Ripley didn't like Bishop in Alien 2. This way. Um, so yeah, androids. And if you want to go timeline-wise, I guess they existed even in the Prometheus era. So. What now? So stick to the shadows. I did. What's up? Oh, that dude's like right there. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Hey, he's been with me the whole time. We're missing food, ammo, meds. If it's not one of us, then we were right. Someone's been in here. This is no good. We're supposed to be secure down here. Damn it. What about the lock, Joe Rigby? Oh, shit. Yeah, what about the lock that Joe rigged? Work. It's fine. Nobody is good at sneaking around, man. No, I'm totally not. Try harder. Don't die. Every commenter ever. <laughs> no, it's okay. I don't take it. I mean, I know what they mean. Oh, shite. Do we really make it? Those guys aren't going to follow us? All right, saving. Oh, shit. We did it. Run! So we didn't sneak around, but 
We made it. <laughs> we take it. We can get here. <laughs> that works. <laughs> we take it. We get here. Come on, Axel. Are you gonna lead the way or what? How much further? Nearly there. Transit's just up ahead. Uh, call in the alien for backup. <laughs> well, that looks like a clear red field. Uh, oh yeah, right. Not quite what you're expecting, eh? Sevastolink. What difficulty playing? Here. The I easiest possible. <laughs> The easiest possible. <laughs> All right. Uh, seek mode. <laughs> yes, we call e super easy mode seek mode here. My name's Seek. So we play everything on seek mode. <laughs> all right, dude, what are you looking all pissed off for? Restore power. Yeah, did I not? The assholes have cut us off. Oh. Got it. We need to activate both consoles at the same time to open it. I'm oh, yay. I love same time shit okay. in video games. I got GTA 5 today for 30 bucks. Dang, Karma. Nice. When are you going to stream that? <clears throat> oh, that's why you didn't die there. Uh, oh, why is that? Because we, we activated the next cutscene or something? Ready. On three. One, <laughs> two. Yeah, we got lucky. Axel, behind you. Whoa, whoa. We're going, we're going. Fuck you. Get here now. I've got the thieving son of a bitch. You bums think you can take what you want? Oh, wrench to the head, boy. Oh, shot to the face, boy. <laughs> Holy shit. The others are on their way. Shit. We need to go. No. She did not sound concerned. No, the voice actress isn't. This doesn't seem to be good with emotions. I think he's dead. Uh, think he's dead? He got shot in the face, bruh. Come on. Could have yelled a, a bit, Ripley. Killed that guy because he was going to kill me. You saved my life. You saved Grant Morrison. Now he can write another weird Batman story. <laughs> he can write like Alien Crisis now. In the next few days, I'm going to stream either online mode or story. Nice. Nice, Karma. I'll try to keep an eye out. I got the next few days, like, I got a chill work schedule the next few days, so. What is that? <laughs> Shit, we made it. Oh! Oh, we made it to the alien. Oh, that's awesome. That's great, and they still didn't show the damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. Gotta keep moving. Wow.